Hi guys, Scott Carruthers, Water Park General Manager, Water Park at Wild Island. We're doing our What's New 2024 Summer Season video. You guys excited? I am to show you what's going on. All right guys, I know that you're just looking at a, a wooden box, <laughs> but this is kind of interesting. This is a, again from maybe a little bit of the theme from last year. We're always trying to get more efficient. And we know one of the problems that we have is when you guys come and rent a cabana, the check-in process for the cabana can be a little, it can be a little sluggish. Um, so what we're gonna try to do is we bought this really nice, I know it looks crazy, it, it, it's not even open yet, but it's like a podium. And we're gonna play around with checking check in the cabanas in uh, outside of the ticket booth and trying to get you guys into the park a little bit quicker. We're always working on being a little bit more efficient one of the feedback pro uh, things that we got was the check-in process for the cabanas was too slow so we're going to try to improve on that let us know how it goes all right guys something kind of fun that we did this uh off season is that um many of you guys have probably been to disney's the disney parks before and what happens when you get off a ride is that you go through the gift shop and they're very clever about that so we kind of looked at our gift shop moon dogs and we were like, we think it's in the wrong location. So our idea was to kind of put it closer so that when you come into the park, you have access to it. And then when you're leaving the park, you have access to it. And we moved our gift shop up front. And what's so surprising about it is that this corner of the park, I'm gonna be honest with you, we didn't realize how ugly it was before. And now moving the gift shop here with this new building, we're so excited about how it turned out. Right when you come in, uh, you're gonna have access to all the stuff that you possibly could need stuff that you forgot some blocks and hats and stuff And then we have the fun items as always uh, We have some candies. We have uh, The pucker powder bits. We have sunglasses. We have towels So we're really excited about moving the gift shop. I know it doesn't sound like a big deal, but we're really really excited uh, insider tip also we upgraded the air conditioning in here. And so if it's a really hot day and you wanna shop in nice, cool, shaded area, come into Moondogs, kinda of shop around. Okay guys, something very subtle, but we're pretty excited about it. Soft serve was such, we added Sweet Breezes last year. Thank you guys so much for the response that you gave to us. You gave us such a good response that we couldn't keep up with the soft serve. So we had to upgrade our machines and add an extra one. But what that offered us is that now we get to offer Dole Whip this year. So we have soft serve. And the best for me is if you mix vanilla and Dole Whip together, it's so good. So we added Dole and we added extra machines. We'll be ready for you this year. Another really popular thing from last year was the addition of the lounges. You guys absolutely loved them. So of course we had to add more for you for the summer of 2024. They're really popular, they're awesome. And the location is roughly about the same thing. You'll probably continue to see these things pop out, pop up throughout the park. So one of the dilemmas that we had when we moved Moondogs, the gift shop up to the front, is all of a sudden we had this building where the old Moondogs was. And we were like, what are we gonna do with that? And uh, our food and beverage managers got together, Kelly and Lindsay, and they did a fantastic job putting their thinking caps on. They did some you know, some studies, they went to conferences, they did all this other stuff. And what they came back with was a great idea. They're gonna do a soda shop. And so we're so excited. To me, I didn't quite know what a soda shop was, but basically it's like coffee shop where, but instead of the base product being coffee, it's soda. And so you get soda and then you get pumps of different flavors. So we're super excited on a hot day to get a custom soda. It's called Thirsty Turtle. The menu is going to be so much fun. It won't be open uh, until probably June 10th, but once it opens, we know that you guys are going to really like it. So. A little detail, uh, we're always trying to change things up. And like I said, Kelly and Lindsay, our food and beverage managers, always do a fun or do a great job adding some fun products. This year, Dippin' Dots, which is crazy popular, so popular, it's unbelievable. We have two new flavors. We have the Frozetti Dough, uh, which tells you that it's marked with gluten. And then we have the icy ice, which is gluten-free, uh, which is always good. We always try to get that information out to you because we know that there are some people that are sensitive to gluten and those types of things. We also try to mark our, all our allergies. If you ever had a question on any of our allergies, please always talk to Kelly or Lindsay or any food and beverage manager um, and they can kind of tell you what's going on with that. One of the biggest 
uh, questions we always get asked is that, is there more shade in the park? And so we know that we wanted to add more shade, but at the same time, we're a relatively smart, small park. So we also had to add another group area. This year over by Hurricane Cove, we have this area called the Coves. Come on in, I want to show you around. We have two sections of this area. One side is called Island Cove. Um, and we did something kind of fun with this. Uh, obviously we have a lot of concrete in our park and we wanted to break it up just a little bit. So we added some natural, uh, well, I say natural grass, but it's actually artificial grass. But when you shop artificial grass, there's a lot that goes into it. You, we got the heavy ply stuff that is supposed to be better with heat. We actually sourced it out of Las Vegas. We added just some grass just to kind of break it up a little bit. When we have groups in here, it will be specifically for the groups, but when we don't have groups, it will be open seating for everybody. This is Splash Cove. These are two huge 20 by 40 uh, shade structures. Again, when we have groups in here, it will be specifically for the group, but when we don't have groups, anybody can come over. Um, shade is very popular. We know that in the hot Nevada sun. So we added Splash Cove. So and we did something special also. Um, we actually added another entry to Hurricane Cove. Um, Hurricane Cove only had one entry before, which was around the zero, but this area has a specific entry into it. So you have new steps, new handrails so that kids can go in and out of Hurricane Cove really easy. Splash Cove also has a little uh, section of artificial turf, some more shade. If you do have a group that comes out here and you want to you know have a dj or something like that or give away gifts that's a great area to kind of address all the people that are coming and uh we're super excited about this area it wasn't a widely used area of the park it was probably the least used area of the park and we're hoping that it becomes one of the most popular something that we are so excited about we've been working on this since 2022 23 um, but you guys were going to start to see the actual physical building of it this year. Um, it will be open in 2025. It's called Tiny Tides. And basically what we're doing is we're ripping out the old kiddie pool and we're putting in a whole new kiddie section um, and it includes a wave pool. So we know that sometimes the big wave pool is a little much for those 54 uh, inches and under people. So we're putting in another wave pool. We're putting in new slides. We're putting in a spray park. We're putting in something like crazy, like 22 cabanas, which is just nuts. Uh, we have new group areas, new sh public shade areas. When you come out in 24, you'll see a bunch of the construction, excuse our dust, all that good stuff. Um, you'll see the buildings start to go up, but uh, come sep almost like September 20th, the day after we close, we're ripping down the old kiddie pool. Stay tuned to our social media. I know that we'll post uh, updates and progress as it goes along. That's it for 2024 What's New video. I love this video. We always get so excited when uh, Julie comes out and films this with us. Um, there's just so much fun stuff this year uh, and we're continuing to improve. We have stuff for 25, obviously Tiny Tides. Um, if you see me in the park, Tell me what you what you would like to see. I think that's always I'm always curious and I'm always open to ideas and stuff. But we're looking forward to a fantastic summer season with you. Buy your season pass if you haven't already. They're almost sold out. Um, but come out and join us. We'd love to have you.